My name is Amal Nurkarkar, I'm the CEO of Patient Prism. And we have um, Kathleen Clara here from i3 Ignite uh, in our studios. And uh, she's been a, an amazing strategist in, in many different industries and has helped companies grow and think about building models that allow you to scale and grow. Uh, and the discussions we're having about today are about scaling DSOs, right? And, and so what are, in your opinion, um, let's get right off to it, is what are the three key areas? What are the three key keys to scaling an organization, especially if it's a dental support organization? Right. So, so essentially what you're trying to do is to build what we call a platform. Okay. And it's a platform that allows um, your businesses at every location to be delivering consistent results. That's kind of the thought around how you create value. So there's three things that we really focus on when we're working with clients around this. So one is to really focus in on the data and metrics. And sure. the reason is that you're going to want to be able to coach at every location around some of the areas where you need improvement. And so you're gonna to have to have data that's gonna help show you how different locations are performing in certain areas so you know really what to focus on. Sure. So that's a really big important thing is to, to continue to um, move each location forward and reduce the variance between one location and another. So consistency. Consistency is huge, okay. but, it, but it doesn't just happen, right? And so part of what, the, again, this whole data metrics does for you is that it enables you to diagnose kind of what's happening maybe at one of your locations. You know, what, what part of the business model isn't working? Okay. So you can go drill in and, and kind of figure that out. So that's a really big first thing is really this whole coaching that ties into data and metrics. Okay. And then the next thing it really has to do with um, the management team. So okay. you're going to need to have folks that have both broad and deep experience. Okay. And, and that's really at the DSO level. So, so part of the challenge, I think, for a lot of organizations is to think through kind of how do I staff at the local level and then what do I need at the, at the DSO level. At the DSO level, we really feel strongly that you're going to need to have folks who have a lot of experience and some ability to create um, maybe processes and other things that really don't exist yet for the organization sure. so you can deliver those repeatable results. Sure, sure. And then the other thing is, is really um, continuing to kind of diagnose what's happening okay. and to work simultaneously at the strategic level and the technical level. So it's really continuing to think through again how can I make this business model better at the same time implementing very specific things that will move the needle tomorrow or next week. So it's really kind of working at these multiple levels that makes a big, big difference. So it really starts with coaching that is driven by data and metrics. Correct. Uh, so diagnosing what's going on right. in the organization to right. achieve consistency right. of, of how every location operates. Correct. Uh, then it's, it's involving a, a management team that has breadth and depth of experience. Correct. And then, then, and then the third thing is, again, uh, relying on a set of metrics uh, to kind of help you improve or make decisions right. uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, and, and it's both, you know, when I want to say strategically and tactically, it's because you're, you're still trying to um, continue to evolve your business model, right? So right. let's just say we had talked a little bit earlier about maybe you're adding services or you're do some other things that continue sure. to build more value in your DSO. Well, you got to be working at that level at the same time that you're actually working around some of the processes maybe at the front desk or sure. some other place where we just need to continue to do what we agreed to do right. and, and the way that we want to do it. So, so you're continuing to do those things, but at the same time you're still working through what are the other things that we want to add to the, the, um, the model hmm. and, and prove it out for ourselves so that we know where we're going. Is it hard to scale? It's very hard to scale. It's okay. very hard to scale. I think um, for a lot of people it looks like it's a fairly easy process. Okay. You know, you kind of the thought is maybe you're adding locations, that's how you're going to get there, but right. the reality is to build value in your DSO, um, it's really all about predictable performance. So you're going to have to be able to show that, you know, whether you've got three locations, you've got 10 locations, you've got 30 locations, that the way you're building and managing this organization is creating predictable results. Great, great conversation. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.